Welcome to part 3 of this series, Boy Shares His Near Death Experience. Animated version. This video will cover what the boy predicts based on what he said was shown to him while he was in heaven. This number 3 video will cover the boy's predictions of a coming world war 3 and the details involving Barack Obama. This part 3 video will now begin. Nathan, now, you stated before that from your experience that you know what is going to happen in the world. So when you were in heaven, what did you understand that was going to happen? I understood, according to when I was up there, the revelation of the Messiah is going to happen very soon. It's like, it's going to happen in the very near future. It's ready to happen. Salvation is really coming. From what I understood it will take place in the coming months. Do you know what will happen? Yes, very bad things are going to happen. But it depends on who. As far as I understood, there is that possibility if everyone repents, but that won't happen. But redemption will arrive. And if people continue to commit transgressions, the redemption will come to pass, but, in a much more difficult manner, but, on the other hand, if people do decide to repent, things will not be as difficult but, redemption will happen no matter what. According to what you know from your experience in, heaven, how will the redemption happen? According to what I understood, there is going to be a very big war, and the whole world will be involved in that war. According to what I understood, all the Arabs and every country will come against the nation of Israel and will fight in that war. How will it begin? According to what I understood, the beginning stages of war is already taking place in surrounding countries. Eventually there will be an explosion and something will happen to cause it to escalate and then we will know that we are in a full-blown war. Everyone will say World War 3 has begun, and the World War will begin with one person who will start the war, and his name is Gog. He is Gog. Yes. And do you know who this Gog is? I am certain of who it is. Who is it? Obama, President Obama. He will start Gog and Magog. He will be the one who will start the war. He will bring his entire army here and start the war. He will fight against us. Yes, he will fight against us. But, at first everyone will want Jerusalem, Israel. Everyone will want it, the entire world. Everyone will fight against each other because they want it. And, the bad things will happen all in two weeks time. What bad things? More than a few million people will die. And, several million people from Israel will die. And the only thing that will save the people is, if they do the following things. First they must, repent. Second learn, the holy scriptures, Torah, and third perform, acts, of kindness, and resist selfishness. These things will save the people. So are you saying, those that, don't keep Torah, and, the commandments will die? Yes, and keep in mind, that, the two greatest commandments is, to love God first, by being doers of the word, and second, love your neighbor, as, yourself, and, please, treat others in the same manner that, you want to be treated. So those that, keep, Torah, and, the commandments will be saved. It depends on if they really care or just casual about it. But, if someone, is, strict, about learning and following, the holy scriptures and does acts of kindness he will, be saved. Will there be any country that, will, support Israel? From what I understood, everyone will come against, Israel, and, fight against us. Everyone will, want to kill us, 
and, we won't, have anyone to rely on but, the Holy One, blessed be He. So where, will, Isis, be, during, all of this? Their job, will be, kidnapping, and, torturing people, including, people, of Israel. So can, you explain how, salvation will take place, and, exactly how people can be saved? I understood that people will have merit, to be saved. What will happen is, at Mount Olives, adjacent, to Jerusalem. First, two of the dead people from, Israel, will, arise. And, come, back to life. Then the mountain, will split, into. And, in that second, the Messiah will be revealed before everyone. Everyone will understand who the Messiah is. Then he will stand at the entrance to the mountain of olives. He will say, who can, enter and who cannot. Anyone who does not have the merit, will stay outside and die. And anyone who has the merit to enter, will be saved. And I saw that the Messiah is someone who didn't commit any transgressions. And everyone will be very surprised that he, is of all people. Also I learned that the, Messiah will fight against, Obama, and, not, only that, the Messiah will, kill him and, bury, him, in, Israel. I also saw when the mountain of olives splits. The Messiah will stand at the entrance, but he won't, see who is religious, but he will see a person according to what's, on the inside, their, holiness, if they are pure, if they lived according to scripture, did mitzvahs, performed acts of kindness, and, have repented. This concludes the three-part series of the boy that shared his near-death experience. Now, that you have experienced one of Gabby Ray Talker, videos, come and join Gabby Ray Talker's social networks. Also come visit www.isoclassifieds.com. Thanks for watching.